Across the nation, vaping use among teens is high and rising. In 2019, more than a quarter of high school students reported current e-cigarette use. According to the FDA, that's more than 5 million children across America, and it's double the percentage from 2016. When we see sort of a very low level of use of combusted tobacco, and then all of a sudden, within a couple of years, we have a quarter of all high school kids currently vaping, that's an epidemic. Vaping among students at Holbrook Middle High School is a concern for Principal Laura Stevenson. I haven't seen a child with a cigarette in quite some time. It was replaced by vapes. I was really scared because these kids, they know the dangers of cigarette smoking, but all of a sudden they didn't think there was anything dangerous about vaping. I had had conversations with parents in the past that actually purchased the devices for their children, whereas now I believe that parents are far more educated and understand the risks associated, the addiction associated. Here in Massachusetts, a State Department of Public Health study found in early 2019, half of high school students reported having used vape products in their lifetime. I have friends and I know people and people I've been to school with that all vape. I felt like I didn't want to go to the bathroom as often, just so I wouldn't have to walk into like a big cloud of jewel. I know a lot of people who have um, become Nick sick as they put in basically just how they have described it to me is that after a couple of days of not using their jewel or their vape, they become sick and they feel like physically ill because of it, kind of like withdrawal symptoms. Dr. Jonathan Winnikoff is a pediatrician at Mass General Hospital and a professor of pediatric medicine. Initially, he was optimistic about e-cigarettes and vaping for adult smokers. I even thought vaping was going to be something that would help people get off of regular cigarettes. But then, of course, what I saw was a epidemic of kids using electronic cigarettes and getting into trouble with illnesses related to their vaping. He's seen children as young as 12 vape. This addiction is really rapid, it's really strong, and it's one that's very hard to break. I've seen kids who were varsity athletes who had started vaping, their endurance goes down, and they don't really understand what's happening to them. And I like what you said about how in 10 years you're not going to remember the criticism. In Holbrook, a group of students at the middle high school took action to curb vaping, working with State Senator John Keenan to advocate for legislation that would ban flavored vaping products that they felt targeted children. We told him what we knew, what we were seeing, and kind of tried to put our voice into what he was giving off to the rest of the Senate. And we were talking about like the dangers of how we're not really quite sure what's in these products and people are putting them in their bodies and we're not sure of the long-term effects or even the short-term effects of what's coming about and how it all of a sudden just blew up and how it has spread and become so prominent in like the idea of like teen culture. Preventing any type of addiction is personal for Senator Keenan. There's a family history of addiction in my family and for most of my childhood, my father struggled with alcoholism. I know that you know addiction can wreak havoc in, in families and with individuals. Just the whole idea of addiction is something I take to my core. Holbrook High School senior Rachel Cohan says she's received pushback from adults for working to ban vaping flavors. They're mostly adults. They've recognized me and they said, you're the girl who took away my vape. One of their main criticisms is kind of that I'm a teenager, I don't really know what I'm talking about, and I'm a puppet in Senator Keenan's plan, which obviously isn't true. Cohan's response to anyone who calls her the girl that took away my vape? I would say that was kind of the idea because I've actually had a bunch of people come up to me and say, thank you for doing this, now I might quit because I no longer have the flavors. The Holbrook students were on hand in November when Governor Charlie Baker signed new restrictions into law. Civics Club advisor Mary Clark. These kids are doing what we want every citizen to do, to stand up and comment about something that they think is a problem. Limiting youth access to vaping products was one of the main goals for supporters of the new law. Department of Public Health Commissioner Dr. Monica Burrell stresses that nicotine isn't harmless, especially for children. 
And one of the problems of nicotine use in young people is that we know that the brain continues to develop up into our 20s and nicotine impacts brain development. So it can have long-lasting, lifelong impacts on young people. Our goal is simple. It's to prevent another generation to become addicted to nicotine. Wow, and Holbrook High School junior Isabel O'Connor, who you heard from in the mm -hmm. piece, says she feels targeted by ads promoting mm -hmm. vaping on Instagram and Snapchat. The good news is Principal Stevenson at the mm -hmm. Holbrook Middle High School says she has seen a decline in vaping at their school. She believes that is the result of education and knowledge about the dangers of vaping, in addition to the flavor ban as well. Okay. What's next for vaping?